Da 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 video response. Hello everybody, this is a video response for you, Inspired Prophet, because I really like that uh, killer can that you've done. Uh, so, what I thought I would do, uh, I would uh, show you some of mine. It's like a you show me yours, I'll show you mine kind of thing. Um, I don't know if I can't remember if I've shown these killer cans before, so if anybody else that is watching, uh, that has seen them, um, yeah, you know, just bear with it. This is for Inspired Profit. Um, so yeah, uh, I really enjoy. I really like the uh, the paint scheme, and I was quite chuffed to see that you'd use the the same chip paint effect that I'd used. Uh, anyway, I'm going to show you some of them. Oh, I knocked the camera out of it. We'll whack a little bit then. Uh, so yeah, um, these are the old killer cans, the old big beastie metal ones. Um, here is one of the ones which is pretty much um, uh, original. Uh, there's nothing much been done to it apart from this iron gob been added here at the bottom. It's Gasgill's iron gob, as you can see. Zoom in a little bit. Uh, yeah, as you can see on this bit here, same kind of chip paint effect, where you paint it all in solid colour, then you paint a black knobbly edge to it, and then you paint silver over it. I don't know if that's the one that you use, but that's the one that I use, uh, and it's very similar to mine. As you can tell, these things are um, very, very dusty, as they've been on my shelf for quite a while. Nobody got them down. I don't really do orcs much. Uh, well, I don't do orcs at all anymore. Orcs used to be my very, very, very first army. Um, so yeah, um, got uh, just uh, again. This is pretty stock, as I said before. Uh, you got your uh, power claw arm, uh, little rockets, as you can see. Paint little faces on the rockets because you know what? What orky vehicle isn't? Oh, I didn't realize that move. Oh, that's cool. What orky vehicle is complete without faces painted on the rockets? You tell me. Um, so yeah, that's the first one. Uh, the next two kind of get a little bit uh, more interesting, um, just for the fact that uh, I wanted all rocket launch killer cans because I thought you know they've got uber close combatiness with their like what strength ten or whatever it is. Uh, they don't have, really have any kind of punch to get through armor at all. And orc shooting isn't the best, but I thought hey you know could just use the um, area effect the blast that way. I don't have to actually roll to hit, uh, so it's good for killing infantry. Um, so what I did, I ended up, uh, that's the only one I actually bought um, which had the rockets. I had to improvise the rest of them. Um, the next one is uh, this one here. Uh, I actually got the one, this one off a friend. This wasn't bought. Um, so, held a little fib then. But yeah, um, as you can see, uh, just a bit of decoration on the front. It got an orky glyph stuck there. That was sort of off a, a boss pole, from led to believe. And the big rocket launcher! Yeah, this is basically two of the old Hunter Killer missile housings um, from the old Bane, not Bane Blade, the Bane Blade isn't old, there's only ever been one version of it from the um, the old Basilisk kit um, with the two old Stormboy rockets stuck in the end. Um, just looks big and oversized and looks like it should really be on its side because it can't support its own weight, like Orc stuff should be. Uh, so yeah, um, uh, this one uh, was a, was a respray. So some of the detailing, like especially the detailing on the um, buzz saw here, it's gone quite blobby. The paintwork. Um, that's because I didn't strip it because I was being lazy. Uh, so yeah, okay, that's that one. Now this next one was very very odd. Um, it actually came with a flamer, but it didn't actually come with its power claw. And I'd already opened it and started assembling this before I actually done it. So I had to improvise. The uh, rockets. Our Imperial Guard mortars. There used to be one in there, but it fell out and I lost it. So, uh, you know, that's a bit of a bummer. Um, the power claw is the old metal venerable dreadnought arm. Well, just one side of it because I didn't. I, I ordered this because I was going to use it as a power claw for one of my other for one of my orc warlords war bosses. And so I didn't have the other side of it because um, I didn't know you had to order it separately. This is back when the uh, the bit service of Games Workshop was still on. Um, so I just had to stick some knives in there. Again, this was like when I first first started getting back into my stuff, so these conversions are up to my usual high standard. Again, let's just zoom into that bit. Get rid of the dust. Chip paint effect there. Uh, there's some more around the edge there. Uh, anywhere else? Oh, good God. Look at the state of the dust on that, Jesus Christ. That is actually insane dust. Absolutely insane. Jeepers. But anyway, yeah, so I just thought I'd uh, show you my uh, my killer cans. Um, one thing, that, one little tip I would say, um, choose killer cans other than dreadnoughts. Because if you have a squad or a mob of killer cans, they're more likely to survive than a single dreadnought. Also, they dish out more attacks. Uh, they have less armour. Um, but yeah, I'd pick less armour any day 
um, you know, for more attacks and a higher survivability rate. Because even if one of these gets into combat, same time you have these three here, these three right here, uh, you charge them into uh, into combat, and on the way, two of them get shot down. You charge them into combat with a vehicle, more likely than not, that is going to kill that vehicle, even if it takes itself out in the process. Uh, plus, I think it's roughly the uh, I've not really read too much into the new art codex, or the new ish art codex, but I uh, I believe that um, it should be. Uh, Cheaper, well, if not the same price, maybe cheaper uh, points wise as a single dreadnought. The dreadnought kit's cool, and killer cans are even cooler. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, I wonder, in case you're wondering why um, a lot of them have got green on the front of them, um, it's because my reasoning behind, uh, you know, orc mentality goes something a little bit like this Oi, mech boss. What's up, lad? Well, I was doing some thinking, and um, I was wondering, what if we paint our killer cans green? Why are you thinking this, mate? Well, you see, if we paint our cans green, then the Umis might be tricked into thinking that there's giant orcs about, and they might get scared and run away. What do you think, Mac Boss? You know what, mate? I think that is the most incredible thing an orc has ever said. I'm gonna bash you in now and take that idea for myself. <laughs> So yeah, that's the end of this little uh, short video. Just just uh, for you, inspired profit or anybody else. Uh, well, guys, if you want to, if you want to see uh, comments in, uh, you know, on my old uh, killer cans, uh, please do. Uh, I hope this was a uh, useful for inspired profit. Just to see some like the the old old school killer cans and you know uh, different painting ideas and different weapon ideas and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, um, thank you very much. I will see you guys on Thursday. Because I know that you guys have actually been... In fact, actually, you know what? I'll tell you guys on Thursday what's been uh, cracking. Um, so, uh, yeah. I will see you guys on Thursday. Well, if not Thursday, it'll be Friday. Definitely this week there will be a proper episode of Enter the Wolf Time. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you guys Thursday, Friday. Goodbye now. Terrell.